but I just feel she's in a better place. I agree. Mm -hmm. Better place. Mm -hmm. And so one has to feel, you know, my darling, you know, the wishes come true. And he's given me the feeling that at the end, there's something I've put into the coffin with him. He's saying here, yeah, something that was very emotionally significant to you. And it, you wrote something that was poetic with it, because I feel as if I put something poetic. It's only a stanza of a verse. It's about four lines. Oh, that's saying. true. Both these people, everything they said about the stuff they talked about, they were accurate. They are the real deal. And it kind of it kind of blew my mind a little bit. I'm not I'm not a mind blower, you know, by nature. But uh, you know, it was real, and um, all, all crap aside, it was real. Fascinating. Remember, our psychic mediums have never met the people in these circles and know nothing about them. While the crew sets up for Craig's seance, let's see what the participants of Jane's seance thought of what just happened. Well, I, I suppose I wasn't really quite sure what to expect when I came. It was different. <laughs> it was interesting to me to find out that um, Diana came across so strongly as knowing what I was doing. And that came across very clearly in what she said to me. Um, and that she was there and that she knew the work I was doing. That, that was quite powerful for me. Even the one who calls himself a cynic was very much part of it. I found it terribly hard to relate the Diana I knew to be in a spirit. And I used to see her regularly, sometimes three times a week, sometimes twice a day. And I'm a shocking cynic, but I did feel something during that. And, um... And one or two things that came out which only Diana and I perhaps knew. So perhaps I'm not quite so cynical. Another remarkable seance. I wonder if the people at Craig's seance will be as convinced and enthusiastic as those who sat at Jane's. Let's find out. It was very interesting though and it was very nice to see how everybody else was going, hey yeah, wow. That, that was kind of cool that that happened too, because nobody had any idea who was who and what was what, so there was nothing set up and we knew nothing that was going to happen next. So. Oh, I found it fascinating. Certainly the questions that were being put to us, or the, the comments that were made to us. If your memory was 100%, you could remember every one of those occasions that he spoke about, you know, right down to the nitty gritty in the kitchens with the children. It all made sense, you know. And the pear drops were definitely something. I mean, we used to buy them specially and have them in the office so that she could have them whenever she wanted them. And it was always, don't tell anybody I'm not supposed to have these, you know. Um, so that was, that was fantastic. I, I actually blew my mind. There was a, um, a contact there um, on everything he said. 